Yeah. Come over a little bit more. So in that shot. There you go. Yep. There we go. All okay. Right. We're well, good. Yes, mate. All right. Okay. <laughs> G'day, everyone. I am here joined with Emily, who uh, has started up a cool little um, following at the moment called WA Gravity Girls. And uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. I just wanted to chat to her more about uh, women's racing and things in general. But uh, I suppose we've had a bit of a um, uh, turbulent start to the season and life in general. Yep. So I know you're, you're a great enduro rider. Has that changed your training or anything like that? that throwing any spanners in the works for you um, um, in that regard? Yeah, I guess the, well, the working environment at the moment has changed a little bit for me as well. So just changing work locations. So um, yeah, if anything, it's been good for us because we've been a little bit closer to some some of the other trails to get some practice at. Yeah, cool, um, cool. So um, training wise though, um, I guess for us coming into winter it's a bit harder just not being able to get out during the week as much as the other days. So, yeah, right, yeah. Um, that's probably the main thing. But yeah. COVID doesn't really seem to have affected us too much luckily. Okay, yeah, cool. So. And can I ask you what your uh, day job is? Uh, so I'm a dietitian by background. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. So working at Bunbury Hospital at the moment. Yeah, right, okay, good. Uh, oh, good on you, excellent. Thanks. So you know all about um, uh, you know, great foods before, before and after training, recovery and things like that. Yeah. Um, so, um, what's your per what's your perfect start to the day? So, how do, the day of the race? What do you plan for? Yeah. So, I don't do great weird, really heavy meals before riding. So, generally, I'll go for some liquid calories, like a smoothie or something like that before I start riding. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, especially on a race day. Yeah. Um, or I'll keep it just a little bit lighter, but always make sure I have some coffee for a ride. Yep. Cool. And I'm a little and often kind of person, so. Yeah. Snacking away on the trails, yeah, nice. my you know, little bag of lollies here and there. <laughs> yeah, excellent, oh, that's good. <laughs> um, keep me going. Yeah. Cool, excellent. So, um, uh, have you got any sort of plans uh, for the rest of the season in terms of how, what you want to, any performance or anything you want to achieve or anything like that through this year? Um, I guess this year for me was really um, having a crack at each round. So last year, um, my skill level I didn't feel was quite up to scratch to have a go at all the rounds. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, this year's just been working on building my skills so I can do each round and not feel like I'm hanging on to get down the bottom of the yeah, trail. Yeah, so. cool. like, like I've been doing yeah. here at Lingalonga Mountain Bike Park, so yeah. we're out here for the wage warm-up uh, weekend, which is great. So we ha obviously had a bit of a hiatus uh, there due to COVID and uh, getting back into it now. So I've got our next round on July the 12th at York. So this is a nice warm-up for everyone, I think, just to dust the cobwebs off a little bit and have a bit of a pedal and get the skills back and the, and the you know this yeah, the skill sets back in in, in check uh, so what i'd really love to talk to you about is wa gravity girls yep. uh, so what inspired that and uh, what do you want to uh, achieve out of wa gravity girls yeah so i guess um after racing last year for the first time and and having a track this year just um, it'd be great to have more girls out there on the trails and at the races. Um, we've got quite low numbers of participation, so yep. um, and general conversation. I guess personally myself last year, I didn't enter some races because I just didn't feel confident yes. being able to ride that kind of terrain. So yep. Yep. Um, I guess just trying to showcase what girls are up to. Yep. Um, that you know if we are getting out there and having a go, and yep. you know it's scary sometimes, and definitely I've pushed my limits over the last couple of years. So. Yep. Um, yeah, just trying to showcase that a bit more. If we've got things happening like wave events, trying to post those up so people can know about them. And, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Just trying to get a bit more exposure. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, we definitely want more women racing, absolutely. Not just enduro, downhill, cross country, every every cycling discipline should have more women in there, more women representing and, um, and racing and just participating in cycling in general. So if uh, yeah, that's why we love WA Gravity Girls, it's um, promoting women in the sport and just getting more women out and having fun and just enjoying what we do back here, which is, uh, yeah. you know, like you said, just having fun and yeah. having a good time and meeting each other and things like that. So, yeah, yeah cool. All right, great. So don't forget to follow uh, at WA Gravity Girls on Instagram, I believe. Is yep. there any Facebook there at the moment? Not at the no, moment, Instagram. So yep. Instagram. Yep. And, yep, cool. um, yeah, make sure you tag us in your posts and we'll yep. share them out there. Yep. And, awesome. yeah, if anything's happening along the way, we'll try and, yep. yeah. And do you do social rides or anything like that? or um, just... Not really. We're all yep. pretty um, spread out. So I guess the point of the Instagram page was to capture everyone. So we know we've got riders up in Baratha. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got plenty of people down here in the southwest and we've yeah. got people in Perth. So, um, yeah, if things are popping up, we're trying to share them around. Yeah. Um, but no, nothing specific on my Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, Emily, here at another little WA Gravity Enduro short chat. I uh, hope to catch up with maybe Emily at the end of the year again and just see how the season went for you and yep. hopefully we'll uh, push WA Gravity Girls a little bit more. Uh, Till then, I'll see you guys at York on July 12th. Stay safe out there and have fun. Yep.
Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> you happy with that? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah that's all good. Hopefully it's just promoting the girls and yeah. get out there a bit more and uh, yeah, that was great. Yeah, we got a shot up um, the hill before, so a bunch of us, I think it was about 12 or 13 of us up there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we all did a run down the hill together. So, yeah, right. Yeah, I think that's got some good footage. So oh, awesome. we'll post you have a few spins there now? Yeah, 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 so I'll be heading back up once. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah. All right, enjoy. Had a go at that. I did the Bryman's drop, so I'm happy. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, the, the rock one at the yeah. top.